What's going on? Jake here with Uncommon ADC, and today I'm checking out the County Calm Practical Multi-Use Pocket Protector by Meritac. Um, so this is a uh, pocket protector from County Calm. Um, unlike a traditional pocket protector, it is not plastic, so in theory it might protect from a little bit of ink, but if you have a major pen leak, that might seep through the material, which is 600D nylon. Um, but it will protect from, if you're carrying a lot of types of like tools in your pocket day to day, in that front pocket of your shirt, um, it will protect the pocket clips from really like destroying your shirt or really weighing down at like weird angles. It kind of keeps it, everything stable there. And so I have this in a um, shirt that I recently wore um, just for kind of an example, but I'm gonna actually pull it out of here just so we can get a closer look at it. Um, but just kind of wanted to show how that fit in there. So it obviously slides in very well into that front pocket. Um, most pockets are pretty standard size, so um, it should fit in any kind of like standard dress shirt that you might, you might wear. Um, but as you can see, right up front, we have kind of a loop panel and this hangs out of your pocket. And as usual, when I include like patches in the video, I'll put links to their Instagrams in the uh, description below. Um, but this per my last email one, it came from Violent Little Machine Shop. Uh, the anti-hype is sold out, but it came from K Like Kyle and the Haterade uh, may actually still be in stock. This actually comes in a six pack uh, with like every different color of Gatorade. Um, they all say Haterade on them, of course, but um, that one comes in a six pack from Zero Feud, and I think that may still be in stock. But this front Velcro panel is three inches by one and a quarter inch, um, and it does flip out, and it's a little bit separated, so you can kind of slide through there. Um, so that'll hang over the front of your pocket, and you don't have to put like the uh, pocket clips over that. And as usual with any of these type of pouches that I um, do reviews on or talk about on the channel, I like to stuff them with gear to give you an idea of what actually fits in these pockets. And I tried to make it, um, in this case, as realistic as possible. Um, these aren't things that I actually normally carry in my front pocket. Um, in fact, um, I don't typically. I'll carry a pen and maybe a flashlight, some, some light things in my front pocket. but. Um, I do work in an office environment, so I don't typically require heavy tools, but I saw this on County Comms web site for only $3.95, and um, that seemed like a pretty good deal to me. So I wear a lot of dress shirts with um, those front pockets, and so I thought I'd check this out. And um, I've carried it once or twice around the house, but really never never taken these out. But if you work somewhere where you're wearing kind of like a heavy-duty kind of button-up shirt with that front pocket and you carry a lot of tools, this is kind of perfect for you. And so, um, Overall, it's 5.45 inches long and I think 4.15 inches wide, um, which obviously, again, is pretty much the exact uh, specs of any dress shirt. Um, so in here, I tried to put, like I said, kind of a realistic um, carry. Actually, let's start on the other end. Um, so on the one, uh, the left side, I have the CRKT CEO. This is um, a Blade, X, Blade HQ exclusive version in green micarta. Um, but they do have these in uh, kind of the standard colors and tons of other colors now, actually. Um, this is one of the earlier exclusives, but I know they've coming out with more uh, since then. Um, but cool little knife. I have a few different colors of these. They also have a mini and a flipper now available. Um, I don't think this exact version is still available, but I did like this one. It's got that green micarta skills and like these bronze... Uh, bronze liners and uh, lock. Um, so kind of a cool looking one. Um, but I thought this was appropriate because it's kind of meant for that front pocket carry almost, especially the original CEO with the carbon fiber scales. Um, just kind of like a classier looking um, front pocket knife. Um, so <clears throat> thought that was appropriate for this. And then in there, um, I don't remember where I got this. I think it's probably Amazon. It's just a well tool um, flashlight. Um, nothing too crazy. Obviously any kind of and flashlight will work. Um, but this is one that I had nearby, so threw that in there. If I can find the link for this, I'll put it in. Um, and I'll put links for all of this. Obviously, the CEO is sold out, but you can get other variations of it. Um, next up, I have the TI Fulcro Leva Tool. This is also from County Com. Um, I think this was like 10 bucks. It's a titanium. Um, it's like cleaning tool, basically. You can use it for like gun cleaning or like prying off like pieces in your car like in the dash or like the radio kind of those little plastic inlays that are in the car 
works as a screwdriver or pry bar, really. Anything at all. These are like 10 bucks on Countycom. Um, still available. I think this was $65, I want to say. And um, I think they go down to around $40 for the standard model. And then this wall tool flashlight. Again, I don't even remember where I got it. Um, but I'm guessing it was under $10. <clears throat> Um, and then next up, I have another Countycom item. Um, this is the quarter inch pen driver in titanium. This is also by Meritac, which is like their house brand. Um, and this was $25. I think it's currently sold out. I have the whole um, like protective sleeve on there. I put it on whichever uh, bit is in it at the moment. Um, just to keep it from scratching things up. Um, I think these are sold out at the moment, but they come back every once in a while. Um, I had missed it the first time around, so I just put hit that little like notify me and they sent me an email when it came back in stock. And this one's pretty cool because it stores the uh, bits inside of it. Um, so um, you can store a couple bits in there, take standard like quarter inch bits. And so um, you can get other bits and put them in there, whatever's you use most. Um, it comes with Phillips and Flathead, obviously, um, but if you're using hex bits or anything like that, Torx, um, whatever you're using, um, you can put those into into the uh, handle here and store those. Um, and it fits about three of them um, of the standard size. Obviously, if you get longer ones, or you might only be able to fit one of them. Um, if you get like those especially long ones, um, or Shorter ones, you might be able to fit a little bit more, um, but always be careful with that um, because they may or may not sit well if they're too short. Um, but in this one, actually, um, these these bits, which are kind of like a standard size, um, have a little bit of room to spare, so it's probably not such a big deal if you get a little bit shorter. Um, but another cool one, um, again, these were 25 bucks on the website, and they do come back in stock from time to time, so um, would definitely keep an eye on that. And then they have other, other versions, obviously, as well. There's a couple of versions that are in stock right now. And then last up is this uh, CRKT Tech Liner. Um, it's got a, kind of like a magnetic um, cap here. And you can stick that on the edge, it magnets on as well. And um, just a standard pen, nothing special there. Um, I think this was around $50, which um, feels a little bit much for this, honestly. Um, I definitely have other $50 pens that feel a lot better. Um, and this one is just kind of like a standard pen almost. I mean, it's got that kind of tactical look. The um, magnetic piece is a little bit like fidgety if you want to play around with it, but kind of annoying also if you're not something you can like fidget with in a meeting because obviously it's pretty loud. Um, so if I were to buy it again, I probably just wouldn't buy it. Um, <clears throat> in fact, like you can get a lot better pens. Um, I think this is uh, Pete's Pirate Life. Uh, by Big Idea Designs. I want to say this was like 75 bucks and um, just kind of a much funner bolt action pen, smaller. It feels more premium. Um, I mean, they're similar materials, but this one just feels better in the hand. Um, pocket clips much better. This is much more fidgety than this little weird magnetic um, cap, um, which I've heard people say is very fidgety, but I just have found that it's kind of distracting. So probably would not um, not recommend fidgeting with that if you're in the middle of a meeting or you know anywhere where anyone's nearby and listening to you, it's going to annoy them. Um, but yeah, overall, I mean, I fit a, about five things in there. I probably could have squeezed a little bit more, but in that front pocket, you're not going to want it to be super, super heavy. Um, so I didn't want to overstuff this. wanted to give kind of a realistic expectation of what you can put in there comfortably. And... Um, I thought these were kind of perfect. They're all pretty thin, about pen profile um, or thinner, and um, not too heavy overall. Um, so that's the uh, County Calm Practical Multi-Use Pocket Protector by Meritac, which is a mouthful. Um, but again, these are only $3.95. Um, I think it's a pretty limited run, but um, I would definitely recommend getting it if you have any interest at all. Um, I know a lot of people don't really wear pocket protectors, including me, um, but I thought it was fun and just kind of a cool thing to have, so why not? For $4, um, I probably wouldn't do an order just for this, um, but if you're ordering something from them anyway, why not? Um, it's only $4, and it's just kind of a fun little thing. So yeah, let me know what you think of this, um, if you use a pocket protector, and if so, what you keep in it. Um, but thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And as always, I hope you're having a great one.